Now knock it off, Ken. We got work to do, and this car ain't gonna build itself. <gasps> Whoa! Think of the ice cream. Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I am Mary and today I'm going to be watching a movie called Ford vs Ferrari and this has been on my list for a while but I've been a little bit intimidated to cover it just because it's a very or at least it looks like a very boy film and I don't like calling things boy films or girl films but sometimes it just feels like it's more geared towards boys and because I don't know much about cars and the history of cars, I thought that if I do cover this movie, my lack of knowledge and my ignorance around cars in general will be heavily criticized by the car fans out there. So that's why I've been putting this movie off and off and off and off. I would just like to make a little disclaimer that I don't know too much about cars. I know Ford, the company, the brand. My parents had a Ford at one point in their lives. Definitely didn't have a Ferrari though, but I know about Ferraris. I know that they're a luxury brand of cars. And this was directed by James Mangold. I've seen, I think one of his films at least. I've seen Logan. Uh, I've reacted to that on my channel if you wanna check that out. I've done the whole X-Men series. That's on YouTube. But other than that, I don't know too much about this film. I was talking to my moderator yesterday and just, I told him that I was gonna watch this film and he was like, it is about cars, but there's more to it. And him saying that to me is actually what made me say to myself, all right, I'm gonna sit down tomorrow and watch this movie because there have been a few films that I've said in my head, oh, this is gonna be hard to watch for me. And then I've watched it and it hasn't, been that way at all. For example, all of the Rocky franchise, the Rambo franchise, Cars, the movie. <laughs> I even thought that about Cars and I had nothing but great experiences with all of those movies. So yeah, just thought I'd get that little bit out of the way. And of course, this is a reaction commentary video. So I am going to be talking and giving my first impression and my thoughts and all of that. So if you reach the end of the video and you want to see the full commentary with me, you can check out my Patreon. That is going to be linked in the description bar and the pinned comments down below. And you can also find me on all the social media handles. And I've got two other channels, my gaming channel, Cherry Plays, and my vlog channel, Very Cherry. All right, guys, let's get into Ford versus Ferrari. I didn't even say who was in this film, actually. Matt Damon, Christian Bale, and a bloke named John Bernthal. Bernthal? Don't know how to pronounce that name. Face seems very familiar, though. So, yeah, let's jump into it. He could have a chance at the... He could have a chance at the what? Oh my gosh, that is very, very fast. Matt Damon. It's a bit foggy, isn't it? He's coming in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, how stressful. They have to like even put petrol in so fast. Oh! Oh, oh my god. You okay? Feel the tank. Oh my gosh, she still wants to go. And I don't got that fire. No, you're not on the tank. Go the tank. Wow, this guy's determination is just out of this world. I mean, it's certainly started out really interestingly. He looks like he is going to cry. Dr. Granger? Who's, who's Dr. Granger? Oh. In my opinion, you're lucky to be sitting here today. Well, I feel real lucky. Luckiest guy on earth. He looks really sad. Who eats pills like that? Yeah, he mad mad. I ask you a question. The only question that matters. Who are you? He's lost his purpose. It's the way it's being driven. The way it's being driven. Too much fuel, not enough spark. That's what's making them this fine. Do you want to run that by me in English? Oh, wow. But if you ask me, this isn't your car. Your car's more uh, Plymouth. Stewed of Wow. You and me have a problem, buddy? But I don't have a problem. I had an MG, mine ran just fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that car is really bad. I like them. I love the sound they make. 
where it goes right through you. Can't relate. That vibration. That vibration gives me anxiety. Was he some kind of a deviant? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, you. Oh, okay. Some role play. Role playing they don't know each other. <laughs> Here's what I want you to do. Walk home. Hmm? While you're walking, I want you to ruminate. He loves man that word. Man comes to my office with an idea. That man keeps his job. Rest of you second best losers. You don't belong at Ford. Wow. The classic pitting employees against each other to see which one can do the best job. Hey, go away. Come on. What he's go living away. in here? You're up bright and early. Well, early bird gets the worm, Pops. That's what they say. On the right. Well, you're still driving. Mr. Shelby, can I get an autograph? Watch. I love the multitasking. Attending to a fan, conversating, walking. He's just a pro. Nothing in there about my trunk and your lovely little portmanteau. You're holding the 62 edition of the SCCA. Oh, out of date. Hey, right. Bill, what seems to be the problem? Well, the problem, problem is that Bill here is a not to say. <laughs> he didn't mean that. No, you're not going to think he was over a trunk. Woo! Ah. Really? Dang, he's actually got a temper on him. I didn't see that when he was working at the garage. I mean, he was a little bit sarcastic, but I didn't see the temper. He runs Porsche, Ken. It's a little German car company, maybe you heard of it. He wanted you to drive at Sebring, but he'd heard you were different. Oh. Don't make me lamp this at your head. Did you bring your son all the way out here to watch you get disqualified or just act like a jackass? Dang, really? No, he's got a temper and he's difficult is... and he doesn't care about losing or looking like a bad example either in front of his son. Wow, that is the look of a disappointed kid. <laughs> he's so casual about it too. Oh. That is not good. He's only just started the race. I'm gonna outbreak you on the next turn, Bob. Why are they having a chat? Just focus on your own driving. Question, maybe someone can answer this in the comment section below, but have any famous drivers died from car racing? I never hear it in the news, but I think it's because I probably don't pay attention to sports news in general. But I'd be curious to know because this seems like a very dangerous sport. Just as I say that. Now for you, Dan. This is scary. <laughs> oh, nice work. Oh, and look at that proud son, too. He's difficult, but good. Yes, so it seems. He's so very obviously British. <laughs> this is cute. The IRS came. Hmm? They've padlocked the garage. This guy has so many issues. Our soldiers came home. What was the first thing that they did? They had sex. <laughs> it's time for the Ford Motor Company. To go racing. Okay. James Bond does not drive a Ford, sir. That's because he's a degenerate. <laughs> Why exactly should Mr. Ford listen to you? Because we've been thinking wrong. Wow, that's bold. You want us to think like them. Enzo Ferrari will go down in history as the greatest car manufacturer of all time. Dang. Is it because he built the most cars? Quality over quantity. It, Ferrari wins at Le Mans. People, they they want some of that victory. Yo, this speech, though. Race team capable of taking out Ferrari. Ferrari's bankrupt. Oh my gosh. He's done his research, too. Enzo has spent every lira he's got chasing perfection. You know something? He got there. And now he's broke. He's really onto something here. Mr. Ford looks like he's definitely contemplating. 45. Oh, do you really think I'm gonna change? I'm <laughs> never gonna get the good rides. He's just given up like that. But I do love the self-reflection. He's like, I'm 45, I'm not gonna change. He just knows, like, people at that age should just stay the same, to be honest. Journalist. Oh, no, let me see, I'm gonna sell our cameras. Uh, just for history. 
Oh, Ford and Ferrari. Ferrari HQ? Ford Ferrari, 90% owned by Ford, who mm. controls all production. Okay. Second, Ferrari Ford, the race team. 90% owned by Ferrari. Okay. So now I understand why they're invited. Dieci milioni di dollari. <laughs> I got that. Million dollars. He doesn't seem impressed or intrigued, but we'll see. Photographs? How urgent are these photographs? What has been photographed? Quindi Enzo mantiene il controllo totale della società. Io assorbo la società per 18 milioni. Whoa. Also, that music before, just then, made me feel like I was in some sort of spy movie. <laughs> My integrity as a constructor, as a man, as an Italian, is deeply insulted by your proposal. Ooh. Back to your big, ugly factory. Le vostre brutte. Oh, significanti Back to your big ugly factory making its ugly little cars. Oh Edita. my gosh. Smug executives are uh, worthless <laughs> sons of <laughs> Tell him he's not Henry Ford. He's Henry Ford the second. Wow. I feel insulted on his behalf. That was so intense. Just his body language and his expression. I knew he was angry. He used us to up his price. That's what it seems like. What exactly did he say? I don't think you want to know. He said Ford makes ugly little cars and we make them in an ugly factory. <laughs> Executives are sons of whores. Uh-oh, he's telling the truth. God, you fat, sir. Oh, shit. Go on. Oh, my gosh. Why? Why does he want to hear? He said you're not Henry Ford. I want the best engineers, the best drivers. Wow. That's what it took for Ford to... We're going to build a race car. Get in the game to get in the race. Just a little insult from Ferrari himself. I help you, Carol Shelby. What is he doing here? He wanted his company to win the 24 Hours of Le Mans. You're one of the only Americans that's ever done it. So I'm, uh, I'm wondering, what's it take to get him back in the game? Not just the best car y'all have ever made, but better than anything that Enzo Ferrari shows up with that year. And how long would that take to make? It's narrow, ungraded. It's rough. There's no camber on the turns, no rails. You got to do that for 24 hours. That's crazy. Le Mans sounds goes wrong, dangerous. That's it. Whole thing's over. Ferrari wins again. Didn't know Ferrari was just yeah. such a beast. Even if we wrote a uh, blank check. Blank check meaning he could write whatever what he I'm wanted. What I'm saying is you can't buy a win, but maybe you could buy the guy who gets you a shot. Oh, Ken? Ken needs a new opportunity, to be fair. And how long did you tell them that you needed? Two, three hundred years? <laughs> Ninety days. Ninety days? <laughs> nah, that's whack. Come take a look. Listen to my speech. I'm making a speech. Bring Peter, he'll love it. Petey, the little boy's name. Look at that. Wow, it does look pretty nice. Pretty shiny. Would you, would you not do that? Would you ask him to keep his hands off the paintwork? No, 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 Peter, you're okay. Who are you? Uh, Leo Beebe. It's a lump of lard, dressed up to fool the public. My advice, Ouch. I'll still choose a Chevy Chevelle. <laughs> That's a terrible car. Dang, he just loves roasting people. He's good at it. Not staying camp. Nah, it's a bloody pig in a poke, isn't it? Nah, it's a bloody pig in a poke, isn't it? Dang, that was loud. Pleasure, Mr. Baby. Thank you for coming. Say hello to Ken Miles and his son, yeah. Peter. We, come, we, uh, we met to be met. <laughs> yeah. And I know one other man feels exactly the same. Ken. His name? His name is Mr. Henry Ford. Oh. OK. And we're going to make history, too, at Le Mans. A lot of claims. My name is Carol Shelby. I build race cars. My name is Carol Shelby. I build race cars. I love his accent in this, I have to say. Spent. Want to have a bath? You're going to want to see this. Trust me. Source, trust me, bro. He's still a little on the rare side of cooks. Oh, my. Ah, OK. This is the perfect place to race, actually. Well, it's awful. It's worse than awful. Hey, it doesn't track. I, I thought it looked good. <laughs> I mean, he's got the perfect test off. The answer did not. What was the answer? 
coming up, love. Why is he being secretive about it? Slow down! Whoa, 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 whoa! Molly! Just tell the woman where you went! No, 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 it's not the same at all! Well, I think it's thrilling! Slow down, you're too close here! He should have just told her. I went to look at a car. With Shelby. With Shelby. A racing car. Sort of. <laughs> There's a corner coming. You better hold on. Oh, damn. Slow down. You told me you quit. It's not like he planned it. Are you upset because I said I was done or because I looked at a race car? Just don't lie to me, Ken. Yeah, literally. If you do this, it'll be paid me this time. Agree. It's 200 a day. That's good. Two hundred dollars a day. Are you nuts? <laughs> now she's like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> but I get her concerns. Like they lost the garage. She's under stress, taking care of PD and working hard herself. I understand. Get some scotch tape and a ball of wool. What the heck? What are they doing? Making your car faster. <laughs> Whoa. I see it. This testing is very interesting. I do like that they're showing us this. Like, we're not just going to reach the end of the film and Ford just has a, an amazing car out of thin air. Well, you don't want the best driver for the car, understands the machine. Uh, that's Ken. Oh, yes. He knows the ins and outs of cars. Ford means reliability. Ken Miles not a Ford man. Oh, <laughs> He's so funny Slap driving the car. Bird. That's Ken Miles. No, be that as it may, we think he may be too pure. I don't like you, Mr. BB. Ford type driver in the Ford car, Mr. Shelby. That's the Ford way. Oh my gosh, okay. He is just like a completely, purely marketing brain. You know, the solution, wedges. You put wedges You're not in coming the next week. Oh. It is their opinion that you are not a good image, so you cannot drive their race car. Dang, dude. The, uh, the gearbox will overheat. That is so sad, considering all the problems he and his family are having right now. Another Ford has come into the pit. It's being pushed into the pit by the mechanic. The casket. The car's not a new rocket. He's still following it all. I mean, I'm sure he can't help it. Too soon, surely too soon. They really put the best man on the job on the sidelines. What's that you're listening to? Uh, some race over in France. She looks good. Exciting. Not really paying much attention. Mm -hmm. Not really paying much attention. Who's gonna believe that? It's not exactly champagne. It's got bubbles. Oh, knows how to cheer up her man. Mr. Shelby, Mr. Ford will see you now. Maybe if he talks directly to Mr. Ford, he can get through to him. All due respect, sir, you can't win a race by committee. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Old Enzo ain't never seen anything move that fast. We're faster than he is. That's huge. That man is scared to death that this year, you actually might be smart enough to start trusting me. <laughs> I'd say you got Ferrari exactly where you want him. You're welcome. Not even looking at him. It's a bit unprofessional. Just have your back that way in a meeting. Go ahead, Carol. Go to war. Nice. Thank you, sir. Hell yeah. He ain't happy, though. <laughs> All right. Hey, Ken. You want me to apologize? It wasn't really his mm. fault, but that would help. want me to help. beg? Now knock it off, Ken. We got work to do and this car ain't gonna build itself. <gasps> Whoa! I mean, he was coming at him pretty entitled. All right. Oh! Dang! Okay, Molly, come out. Break the fight. Think of the ice cream. Oh my gosh, she's... She's just here to watch. Oh my lord. No way. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's got armor now. Yes, love. Give me the fizzy pop, please. You want one too, Shelby? No. Oh, yes, please, no. Molly. No. <laughs> All right, well, I'm about to go to the grocery store. Huh? Anything you think you'll need? Everything that he just dropped. Oh, you have to be kind to the car. You feel. The poor thing groaning underneath you. Yeah, I bet. You have to have some sense of where that limit is. 
This kid's gonna be a car racer when he grows up. That's Look for damn there. sure. Interrupting your regular broadcast to remind you guys that if you are enjoying this reaction and you want to see the full reaction with me, you can do so by checking out my Patreon. And over there, we have a library full of content, full of uncut reactions for you to check out like this, this, and this. You want to check out my Patreon? Link is in the description bar and the pinned comments down below. You're saying BB is 100% in charge now? Yes, and he wants Miles gone. Oh my God, really? You cannot destroy the whole thing, not for one goddamn guy. Sure I can. Well, why? Because while we're here talking, he's out there getting it done. Exactly. Dee's just not listening to Mr. Ford. <gasps> he's got brake face. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The tires, man, they're red. What the? F oh! Ah! 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 What the? F oh! Just stay there. Get it out. Get it out. <gasps> what? Oh my god, that looks so bad. Ken. That looks so bad. Oh. Ken. Come on, come on. oh my god. He's still alive. The brakes. <sighs> if they kick him out now. Let's just rip out. The damn engine. Oh well, my god, I was so scared. I really clue. thought he was dead in that. Are we allowed to do that? I don't know. I don't read French. This is just too risky for him. I'm gonna take him home. What? Sort of this out. I will. That is just so scary. I wouldn't want my dad to Look, do this. Are... The suit's flameproof. See? Oh. It uh, keeps heat out. Okay, that's good to know. I didn't oh, know that. Louis Chevy burned to death in the Moroccan <gasps> Grand Prix. He had a flameproof suit on. Oh, my burn to death? Well, that answers yeah, that one of my questions from earlier. As long as you get out of the car, you're okay. Dad got out. He sure did. It's goddamn scary, though. That image ingrained in a kid's head. We uh, took out your 289 small block and put in 427.7 liter. I don't know what any of that means. Uh, I, I do hope that this won't be a problem between us. Well, I assure you, Leo, it will not. Wow. Oh my no. God. I love yeah. that, that so much. You see what $9 million feels like. Hey! <laughs> love this, stupid BB. Open the door. Hey, open the door. Everyone just ignore. <laughs> it's too loud. We can't hear you. Oh my God. No way. No way. What a crazy SOB. <gasps> you ready? The name on the middle of that steering wheel should tell you that I was born ready, Shelby. I was born ready. I love that. <laughs> the gaslighting tone. Uh. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god, this is so scary. It's about right now the uninitiated have a tendency to soil themselves. <laughs> Oh no, there is no amount of money you could pay me to get in that car. He is really holding on to dear life, Mr. Ford. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. Is he okay? Dang. <laughs> this is really awkward now. I had no idea. Now you want to win Le Mans. You really want to take first place. Ken Miles is the man to do it. This is great. This was the perfect way to persuade him. Now you let Ken Miles race Daytona. If he wins, he gets to drive Le Mans. That's fair. And if he doesn't? Ford Motor Company gets full ownership of Shelby American. Whoa. Fox stock and brand. No forever. way. That's how much faith he has in his man? <gasps> oh, don't play dirty like that. I hate it when they play dirty. I hate it. Did you see that? I also love how Carol is always chewing gum. Such a mood. Petrol time. Let's go. This part's always so stressful to me because they're trying to do it so fast. He said to ask how the brakes. The brakes, yes. No, 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 no. Tell them they're working for now. Don't say for now. Yo!
<laughs> he got the A-OK. -okay. She could come apart. One way to find out. That's so scary, though. I thought we were keeping him under 6,000. Shut up, Don. Oh, no. The stakes are so high for Shelby, too, because if he doesn't win this, he loses his entire company. This is so exciting. Oh, ooh. I'm actually so worried for him, too. Oh my gosh, he's almost at the eight. Look, I don't know much about cars, but that's in the red zone. Oh, and the music. So triumphant. Ah! <laughs> His face. So good. Screw yourself, BB. Uh-huh. We won. Ford won Daytona. <laughs> Which team was it, Leo? Shelby American. Miles driving. Mm. Miles is the man. Pretty ironic, though, because Ford is such an American car and they've got a sarcastic pom with anger issues driving it. <laughs> it is pretty funny. It's going to rain again tomorrow. That's not good. There's always rain here. Start will be dry, though. We'll swap out your tires come rain. Stronger tires for the rain. Let me go walk the first corner. No, I figured. I, I can't believe that he has to race Count tomorrow. On. I would have come earlier so I could experience the jet lag, get over it, and then race and be prepared. I don't know why it has to be 24 hours. It just seems excessive. Pressure's on. Oh my gosh, they're all just getting ready to race up to their car. That seems pretty fair, actually. First out there is the person who gets to their car first. Let's go! Ah! Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, maybe it's a little unsafe to have it this way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You just gotta hope that your peers are okay. What's with that door? What the fuck? Did someone sabotage his door? That is so bad. Why is this happening? Where the hell is Ken? I don't know. <sighs> they need a break. I think he should just get rid of the door. He's coming in, coming in. Let's go. When he can break, get rid of the door. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so, 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 so bad. Okay. <laughs> this is the only way to. Oh. That's better. Oh, I thought they were going to rip the door off. I just love his family. They're so supportive and into it as well. Yay. BB is so butthurt. He doesn't need to be that way. The music is so high. So happy for him, but he has a long way to go. If you hadn't blown the start, you'd be in the lead. Can you keep this up? Can the car? That's a better question. There has been an incident on turn six. Number 18 and number 26 have collided. Oh. It appears Ferrari number 20, Ludovico Scarfiotti, has also left the track. Oh my god. Tire change for the rain. I do feel reassured, you know, knowing he's wearing proper helmet. He's got a flame proof outfit as well. Before, I didn't realize that they already had flame proof outfits. That's why I really freaked out when I thought he almost died. <laughs> Still mocking him. This is so stressful. There are going to be more crashes. If there were crashes without the rain, there are definitely... Oh! The engine just busted. Oh my 
God, oh! <laughs> oh gosh, the rain is really making me uneasy. And it's so loud too. Hold it together now. now the music is anxiety invoking. Not again. Please, not again, not again, not again, not again. Oh god. Breaks. Nothing. Gone. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. New brakes. At least they have these pit stops. A part is a part. Be it a brake caliper, a rotor, or an upright assembly, and I can swap out any damn thing I want to. We read your damn rule book. And that's that. <laughs> I love Ken's face throughout that. I don't speak Italian, but he ain't. <laughs> you can always tell when that man's not happy. Ooh. I thought it was good. He doesn't trust a car yet. Mm. Come on, Ken. I gave you new brakes, buddy. I would be thinking, I'm still a dad and I'm still a husband. I'm scared to go 7,000 RPM. It's always that guy. It's always him. Ford versus Ferrari. It's that turn. It's making me nervous. Oh, nice. The brake was very smooth. Again. <laughs> I love the way he just looks at him. Come on. Yes, let's go. I've noticed he has three. I don't know, like a break. I. Ooh. Oh my god. Wow, what a miracle! Uplifting music playing. <laughs> That's crazy. He down. Down back, crying at the gym. Nice. Wow. That's crazy. I can't believe they have multiple Fords racing. I thought it'd be like a Ford, a Ferrari, a Porsche, a something else, a something else. I don't know my cars. <laughs> Ken's up in a half an hour. Want me to wake him? No, I'll let him sleep. Oh, I guess that's how they make the 24 hour thing work that's good that they get sleep i was wondering like 24 hour race my god i'm glad they do it on shifts and they have breaks wouldn't it be great if all three fords lined up across the finish line at the exact same time mm -hmm. wouldn't it be great lines his laps ahead leo <laughs> what would you have him do slow down yeah exactly yeah what He's so dumb. He's so dumb. I can't with him. Shelby Miles needs to be a team player here. Oh my gosh, he can't you. be for real. He You're really can't be for real. To. This is what Mr. Ford wants. Go Why on, don't you speak with Mr. Ford, Shelby, and you decide what Mr. Ford wants? I don't know why BB has to get involved like this. It's like he just feels left out and he just has to sprinkle his little two cents in. It's like, dude, let the people who know what they're doing do what they're doing. They want you to slow down. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Wouldn't that bother me again? In a I race. Slow down. In a race. My choice. Your choice. Oh, okay. To be claiming the top three positions. The hell is he doing? <laughs> Not listening to you. Don't answer that. Get away from me. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> he already knows. <laughs> I like that guy. He worked for Ford, but he's with Shelby and Ken. Now. Oh, he's got a crowd rooting for him. 30.6. That's another record. Wow. Bring him in. Right now. He's out of control. So you bring him in before he wrecks that car and we don't finish. He's such a crybaby. Ken Miles is behind the wheel, Leo. That's his car to the finish. Wow. Go Shelby. I really hope this doesn't backfire on him. Oh no. 
What's up? What's up, bro? What's up? Stop, stop, stop. You're worrying me. This is a very long shot just of his face with really dramatic, slow music that's worrying me. What is he doing? Oh. He's going to finish with Ford. He's going to be a team player. He had to think on that for quite a while. You know what? He started to think about it. Come on, lads, where are you? And he was like, I'm going to be a team player for once in my life. I'm not going to be the difficult guy. Mom, why is he slowing down? <laughs> He's doing it for Shelby, for sure. Yeah, the boys. <laughs> He's bringing them all in together. That's good for you. Yeah. Goosebumps! Goosebumps! This is truly a triumphant moment. And I do love that Ken came to that realization himself. I hate that BB had the idea, but I love this. I love the camaraderie. This is what it's about. He made history for himself, and now he's made history for Ford. <laughs> I'm kind of getting teary-eyed getting a little bit emotional he's not trying to start it further but he's saying he's traveled that little bit further so he's one and not what? What? that is bs oh no and he slowed down for him too he's so happy he's he's thinking he's won he's such a boss uh oh, now he's realizing. Could be faster. <laughs> Seven leads is sweet. But, uh, he's not a sore loser. Well, what the hell are we doing here? Let me take a shower, get a cup of tea. <laughs> I love these two. We're going to get the next year. Yes. Yes. She looks pretty good. And look at the scenery, too. The machine becomes weightless, and all that's left is a body moving through space and time. I believe it now. Creeps up on you close in your ear. What the hell? I ask you a question. What the f The only question that matters. What the hell? What the f Oh, God. Oh, God. How is the movie ending like this? The way they said, we'll get them next year. And then this happens at the end? Don't you freaking tell me this. Don't you freaking tell me that he did all of that. Only to die? What, 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 what? Is he still alive? That's not really him. Strong. Drove it for less than an hour. Until what? Where is he? Oh my God, this can't be happening. Am I some kind of a lounge act? No. Am I here to talk people into things? I think he lost his friend and he's acting out and sad about it and not got enough patience for it. It's been six months, Shell. <laughs> he did die. And Petey lost his dad. And Molly lost. Oh, the wrench. Do you want to speak to my mom? Well, I did. Uh, I he came to so say hello, check in. Your daddy was, uh. He was your friend. Dang. And he thought you was just finer than frog fur. Pizza! Molly and Petey, they're quite strong. I mean, it has been six months, but still. He's got to keep it together for his heart. So he's probably been suppressing a lot of his emotions. R revered by racing fans worldwide, Ken Miles was inducted into the Motor Hall of Fame. Carol Shelby became one of the most successful and celebrated sports car designers in history. The Ford GT40 developed by Shelby and Miles won Le Mans in 1966, 68 and 69. Four years in a row. The it remains the only American built car ever to win the 24 hour of Le Mans. Oh, that's the real them that's so cool for someone who knows nothing about cars has zero interest in car racing and therefore knows nothing about the history i didn't know that this was based on a 
real story. I did assume as much, but I didn't know that for a fact. When we finished the movie and I found out that Ken Miles and Carol Shelby were actually real people back in the 60s and they were working to try and get Ford across the line in the racing industry. It just made the story that much more interesting. And I personally was so surprised that I was this invested in this story to even begin with, having zero interest in cars and car racing. But I think that's a testament of how well the story writing and the cinematography and the music and the acting all played out in telling this story because it's quite an interesting story too. At the end of the day, I was really pissed off because the big corporation won. I know that Carol's design won in 66, 67, 68 and 69, but Ken, obviously he died in 1966. I actually researched this. The real Ken Miles truly died at the age of 47 on the 17th of August in 1966. He really had a son named Peter. He really had a wife named Molly Miles. His story just ended there. So to me, I feel really frustrated that he never got his second chance to win, actually win at the Le Mans. Of course, he had his own personal achievements and there was that character growth and that character development because we were all rooting for Ken and he definitely proved himself time and time again. And you know what? Carol also had a great character arc too because he was playing for the big corporation and he eventually just let all of that go and said, you know what? You do you, do whatever you want. I'm not going to tell you what to do anymore. And I think that took a lot of guts considering he was being threatened by BB. And also, you know, earlier in the film, he put up his whole company, all of his stocks, just to bet on his friend. And I do think that he probably did spend the six months after his friend passed to suppress a lot of emotions. And it was coming out in ways like him showing up at Molly and Peter's house, returning the wrench to them and refusing to talk to the people that just bought a brand new car, refusing to be that man for the corporations. It, it came out in those sorts of ways um, because he wasn't really dealing with the loss of his friend properly. I wanna say it's probably to do with the fact that he's trying not to overexert himself emotionally due to his health concerns. I can't imagine what it would have been like in the 60s, especially in an industry where it's heavily male focused as well. What was surprising is knowing that there was a man that burnt alive in his own race car, knowing that fact really scared me because that piece of information and then right before him actually losing control of his car, Carol telling Ken we'll have a chance next year. All of that was just forewarning us. It was foreboding as to Ken's um, ultimate demise. I really liked the voiceover at the end though, where Carol was explaining what happens to your body when you go 7,000 RPM. And I actually had to look up what 7,000 RPM even meant because as I said I have no idea about cars I know that 7,000 RPM is high but that's all I really know about it. RPM stands for revolutions per minute and it's used as a measure of how fast any machine is operating at a given time in the movie Ford versus Ferrari and also I'm reading this from LinkedIn of all places uh, Carol Shelby calls 7,000 RPM that exhilarating moment during a race which in miles per hour is about 91.7 and roughly translate to 147.5 kilometers per hour. Now I have never in my life driven 147 0.5 kilometers per hour. So I've never driven 7,000 RPM. I think the most I've ever driven was probably 120 kilometers per hour personally. So I don't know what that feeling is like. And I've never driven 120 kilometers per hour in a racing car. So it definitely felt scary when I was driving 100 kilo 120 kilometers per hour. So if I ever reach that, I would definitely have to slow down, slow myself down and go at a more reasonable pace. But I just can't imagine what it would be like because Mr. Ford himself, he got into the car with Carol Shelby and he was in tears. He didn't realize what it took to drive a car like the racing car that Shelby designed. And even though that moment was uncomfortable, it was quite an interesting and pivotal moment for Mr. Ford himself. Having Shelby explain and also demonstrate what it took 
really was a turning point for Mr. Ford. I want to quickly talk about Ken's family too, because they definitely brought the sentimentality in the movie and the emotion and the heart in the movie, which is what I look for in a action or sports movie. That's really important to me because I'm not really into sports or really action films in general. But when there is a underlining or more emotional subplot going on, that's what really draws me in. And I think Molly and Pete were a great instrument of that and the bromance between Ken and Carol as well. I really loved the bromance. I think that was probably my favorite part about this film and Ken for the most part he was always sticking it to the man but at the end he cared more about being a team player and that was huge for his character development and it was also him being like you know what Carol's done a lot for me this time I'm gonna do something for Carol and that was quite beautiful to witness too. Those guys caring more about their friendship than anything else and that's what ultimately led to the three Fords coming in first second and third so anyways i enjoyed this movie i would give it a 7.5 out of 10 that is my rating so let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it really does help my channel out and if you're after the uncut version you can find that on patreon linked in the description bar and in the pinned comments down below down there you can also find me in all the social media handles and you can find my two other channels so Thank you so much for watching Ford vs. Ferrari with me. I hope you guys have been having an amazing week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.